Good morning. Today is Monday, October the 12th, I believe. And it is Columbus Day. And I just wanted to make a quick video, as always, regarding the um, next project that I have started. My last video um, was on wire art. And since then, I have been researching and looking up um, wire quilt art or quilt wire art where you make little squares of individual art pieces and then you place them all together so I thought that was really um, interesting because you can incorporate so many different things in the square not just wire you can use beads paper anything um, you can think of you can include in your square so this was my first first square I hope you can see it's um, it's an inspirational square it's a picture of a Bible supposedly on a table uh, with a candle and on top it says the living word um, it's not really finished yet but um, it's pretty much there and this just makes me think of um, uh, like a grandmother's house with a, you know, the the classic tablecloth of flowers or fruits or bananas, and you have your Bible on the table with a lit candle. Maybe someone that reads their Bible late at night. Um, but this is going to be one of many, I hope, in which um, um, can really tell a story. Um, through these squares which I think is so great and so neat um, they do take time though they take much more time than making a fabric square for a quilt but um, I did enjoy it and since it does take a certain amount of time you really want to plan your picture carefully and um, what you want in it carefully I must admit that I did not have the tools to make this. I had some needle nose pliers that I um, got out of the dollar store. I couldn't find my the other ones I got out of the jewelry store so I was just um, relying on that. I really did not have wire cutters so I, I have to go and get those today. Um, and um, like flat nose pliers and nylon coated pliers and bailing pliers all of those different types of tools I did not have um, so this is basically working with bare bare essentials but very quickly before I run out of time um, I did go through some wires in a previous video this is black annealed wire uh, this is black jewelry wire which is very fine uh, for a first time the, wor the words are okay but I think um, in the next squares I would want to um, make the words a little stronger, maybe with a thicker gauged wire. Um, this is jewelry wire, the gold in the Bible is jewelry wire. This, the candle, is um, the wire that I got out of some old cords. So this doesn't really keep shape, but it worked in this instance. And these that make up the tablecloth are nothing but um, plastic coated paper clips so I thought that that was really neat that I could use those there um, so that's basically it uh, the candle holder is jewelry wire and it's not it's not finished but it's a good start and almost there you see some wire hanging off here and down here at the bottom um, just want to square it up as much as I can and neaten it up but yep this is my first square of a wire quilt art so I hope you enjoy this and maybe it will um, pique your curiosity and you will want to make a square for a wire quilt art when they're all put together they look really nice alright everyone have a great day um, Enjoy your holiday. 
It is 9.36. Oops, stop my phone. It is 9.36. So, so far this morning, I've, I've had a prayer call. I've walked about two miles. Um, went to Staples, got some mailing supplies, and now I'm back filming a video. And it's only 9.30, so I'm, I'm psyched. I have the rest of the day uh, to really work on some orders. Okay? Have a great day. And I will be putting on another video soon. Bye.